my god. Ooh. I literally am about to cry. It's so hot, like don't mind the redness. It's getting into summer season and I'm sweating. Anywho, I don't even know where to look. So I'm filming on my new camera, the um, Canon EOS M50. And let me just say, it was worth the money. If you wanna skip to me unboxing the camera, I'll put the time up on the screen. But if not, I'll be doing a quick little story time of what happened to my camera. I'm just so happy that I'm about to cry. Like just looking at this quality. It's all worth it, it's all meant to be. I'm gonna grab my other camera so you guys can see what's happening. Right, we're back. Sorry about that. Technical difficulty, I couldn't find my old camera and you know, I was about to cry. This, my friends, was my first ever proper vlogging camera and it's just so great. Like, you know, you can vlog with it. It's so good. Hi guys, how you going? And you gotta turn it on and um, bit of a lens failure. It's so good. It's fabulous, it's only $600 to fix, that's fine. So, what happened with that was, um, no. Backstory, I brought that around December, January for $500 because it was like the New Year's sale. It meant so much to me because it was like my own money, like I brought it fully myself. Then after a month, I took it to Japan and then the lens stopped opening. Them things there, they were just stuck shut, like they wouldn't open. So um, that was fantastic. So I took it back, they swapped it over, and then a while after that, I had it sitting down on a bench Tip like that, screen cracked. Fabulous. That was all fine. And then a few months later, I was filming my show bag haul. And as I was making these patty things that I brought, I just went to turn the camera on. And then the lens did that lens fail thing. Has not worked since then. The screen is just getting worse and worse. And it's just coming off. They think it's related. I do not because I cracked the screen months ago. I've cried about it. I've stressed about it. I took it to all these camera repair shops and they said it's going to cost $600 to fix. You're going to need to spend $80 to get them to ship it over to Canon. Then they give you a quote that could take um, from two to four weeks to get the quote. And they guessed from the three places that I went to that it would cost around $600 to get fixed. And I was like, one, I cannot wait six weeks for a new camera or to get it fixed. $600 is a lot of money. I'm gonna spend that much, I may as well get a new one. So I was like, screw it, I'm sick of this, buying a new one. So I waited until I got paid. I had enough money in my spendings account because what I do is I transfer it all into my savings, which I can't touch. My mum was gonna claim on insurance along with her iPad and I could have gotten $700 back for that, but they're taking forever. I don't have patience for them to be arguing, saying we need proof that it got cracked, we need a repair his report, which will take six weeks. That's what the whole Canon business is. So no, don't have six weeks to spare. And then you don't know how long it's gonna to take to get the money. So while that's all getting sorted out now, mum's arguing with them trying to get all the money back. I splurged a good $899 to get this beautiful thing, which I absolutely am so wrapped with. And here we are now. I watched many, many, many videos comparing the Canon G7X, which is what this thing is, the very basic, everyone has this YouTube camera, to the Canon EOS M50, the Sony 6, 4000, all these weird fancy ones. The M50 has some pretty cool things that I really like, like the autofocus, the flip screen, which has the protective thing on the back, which I'll show you when I open it. That's just gonna save my life. I'm gonna try. Be so careful with this one. Like, you don't know how stressed this has made me. Like, I haven't been able to film. I've been trying to film on my GoPro and it sucks. Like, you cannot do any vlogs on this. I just need to take, like, a minute to, like, appreciate this moment. I've been waiting so long. <sighs> so, let's get into the unboxing because I'm pretty sure that's what we're all waiting for. I just got home from the gym and brought my camera. Um, yeah, no, just, let's just open it because I'm so excited. <sighs> the amount of times I've cried over not having a camera. It's all out to this moment. And if it's horrible, I'll cry. <sighs> I'm scared. 
hope it's good. Okay, user manual, chargey thing. Well, we got a strap I'm gonna be using. So the dumb thing just stopped recording. So. All right, we're back to the phone because this stupid thing just decided to go flat and it's just not even flat, but it's saying it's flat. What is this? I haven't opened the camera yet. I'm too scared. I'm sure to wait. So we've got some this bubble wrap. Oh, that's the lens. I'm going to be so careful with this. Like, oh. See, this is just so professional. Ah! I don't even. Back in the bubble wrap, we go. I'm too scared. I'm too scared. I'm trying to like use this ring light thing, and it's just because it's dark. It's like waiting ages. So, so now for the moment we've all been waiting for. Ah! How do I get the thing off? How do I? I don't. I'm not touching anything. Oh my god. It's like good to hold. Let's, let's flip him out. Very smooth, very nice. See how it's, a reason why I got this is because on this, it's like got its own little cover. So if it, if you rest it down, it's not gonna scratch the screen. What's that button for? I don't know. Oh, so you can put it like that too. <gasps> oh, I don't want to get any fingerprints on it. Oh my god. Eww. How do I turn it on? Where's the on button? Oh, so there's like a switch. Flat. It's an eye peeky hole. What's this? Ah! Uh oh. <gasps> That's where the mic goes. So when I get more professional, I can add a mic. I'm never, ever throwing this on my bed. Let's just plonk the battery in. You know, maybe they charged it for me. Oh yeah, I need an SD card to get that from my old one. Surely, surely they charged it for me. Surely, surely. <gasps> it's on. Let's set the, the date is the first of the... First of the 10th of 2000. Oh. Oh. Right, let's put the lens on. Wait, let me turn it off. I'm scared. Now, I've never ever owned a lens. I know that you take the cover off. Oh, there we go. Easy peasy. It's pretty straightforward, I reckon. That sounds about right. Whoa. Push and hold the lens switch. Whoa! Oh! oh. <gasps> wow, it is good quality. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna cry. The only thing is, like, I don't know where to look. Like, do I look there? Do I look at the lens? Oh my god, and you can change the colour. Alright, this is awesome. You can change the, like, concentration. Alright, so I reckon I'm going to let her charge, I'm going to have a shower, get my SD card, get all organised. Now, how do I get it back? Oh, I really like it. I love it so much. Alright, I'm going to go cry in the shower for a bit. Oh my god, I don't even know what to do. So... I'm so obsessed with the quality of this video. On the screen, there's just like so many fancy buttons that I got to explore with. Let's test out the autofocus. Um, bring some light in. Wow. But what I really like is that on this, you can change the exposure, the concentration, change the colors up a bit because that was like a negative thing people were talking about. Like on the base settings, it's a lot duller than the Canon G7X. But now that I've seen all the cool settings that this thing didn't have, I'm like, whatever. Oh, look at that. Honestly, I'm just, look at that. That is such good quality.
<sighs> Yay. The real test is gonna be when I transfer it to my MacBook. See what it's like then when I'm editing. So I've just transferred all the videos, you, my finger, onto my computer. So from what I'm seeing, it does look a lot better than my other camera. Like it's not too different in the lighting of my bedroom, but I'm sure outside it's gonna be a big change. So I'm gonna listen to the audio of it and see how we go. Let's turn it up. It definitely picks up a lot more. Like I can hear the furriness of the noise outside, but that's good. I really want to get a microphone because I got like a microphone hole, but that's for another time. Also, let's just test out the lens. Oh, it zooms. That's boring. Wow, look at that zoom quality. Wow, okay, that focus is really good. The big standout was that this one had 140 something focus points where the Canon only had around 60 or 40, so there's like 100 more. Like all my friends and some of the girls from work would know how angry I was that this was gone. Okay, before I have a mental breakdown, I need to end this video here. Um, this is my little unboxing video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am so happy and just grateful that I have it now. Thank you for almost 900 subscribers, guys. Oh, we're getting close to that. I, I was actually scared that I wasn't going to make it to a thousand before the end of the year because that was my new year's resolution But I reckon we can get there and with the help of Christmas coming up in December It's just looking good. It's looking fabulous. So we can all say goodbye to cute little G7X Stupid little thing easy to breakable. Oh, nothing that I noticed. This is so like it feels very cheap and like not good This beauty is like it's got some sort of leathery thing on the outside. I don't know. It's just Oh, thank you for watching this video everyone i hope you enjoyed um if you did please give it a like subscribe all that jazz and i'll see you in my next video i'm so it, oh yeah also i'm sorry if like for the first few videos like i don't really know what to look because i don't know if i'm meant to be looking at the lens the screen